hasn't brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? I think what we need to figure out is what's different. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming, doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people, and mine. He's going to be sorry he ever met me. to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different. Not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell her the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. One of your own gave her to the Archon? No wonder you hushed it up. This isn't about hiding the truth. I'm working to capture him. Make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? 
You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. When you have a moment, we should talk. Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej. Chief Phoneron. A Voneron. That's very... I don't know what. Ah. Linguistics. Not my strength. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer. You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply... stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have.
Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... a surprise? What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Cat and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. In the armory. I'm in the galley when you're free. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, you think you'll have kids? Why is that on your mind? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while you and Sam were cheating at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it... We're basically here to spawn. Those of us lucky enough to live through this. Exactly. And there aren't that many to start. We're a disaster or two away from not having enough numbers to survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oosh. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. There are other ways to reproduce. It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. 
I guess I could donate DNA or however it works. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. In a way, that sounds like my dad. That's not fair. He kept you close. Made sure you and your brother came here with him. And he died for you. Yes, but the other decisions he made kept him at a distance. That can be just as bad. I see that. Still, without our fathers, we wouldn't be here. They brought us into this world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Did I hear right? You're going after the Archon's ship? Looks like it. Last time we crossed his path, you nearly broke my baby here. Now tell me you have a better plan of escape this go around. We'll be winging it, as usual. <sighs> I'll get my tools. Just... stay out of the skirt, huh? How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Regale me with some poker wisdom. <laughs> well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. How'd you resist all that tasty fruit on Aya, huh? Check your helmet before you put it on. This scratch? He was sleeping in mine. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah. The Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Scott. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself. That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. And yet you're on this ship, hurtling through unknown space to who knows where. With Sid. And sure, Andromeda was an unknown. But unknown is better than being tracked down by the Batarian crew you shafted three years ago. Speaking hypothetically, of course. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? I thought I hated the Ket before, then we learned about exaltation. 
I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did he keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vold. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Joe. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all, can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. You're taking on a lot, making all of Helios your problem. It is our problem. We're not going back. We have to make it work. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it... It has to be normal. I need something... familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything... from the Milky Way? Clean break. Just the clothes on my back. Me too, more or less. But I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family works here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. 
The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. We do what we do. Doesn't always have to make sense. No, no, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. Anything I can do for my team, Liam. Stuff like that goes above and beyond Pathfinder. At least I hope so. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship, like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's a day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. Still waiting on our visit to Aya. Useful, but also fun. Looking forward to it. Just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? Tell me about your friends in crisis response. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing the shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Base, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. <laughs> the best people when buildings have fallen down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promised. I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it, and Dad liked a happy mom. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff. Armor and jump jets. Mom wasn't a fan of the second part. You know how it is. My experience with my family was... different. Even that, huh? I get you. Every one of us came from something different. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. We'll talk later. I know it. The Rokar go to Kadara and recruit the desperate. I've heard a Rokar recruiter weaving his magic. Even I was convinced. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time? <laughs> I... I fell in love with a girl once, Aaliyah. We were young. <laughs> we 
I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older, a researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. I have a bad feeling about this. My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. Where is Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. I think you're interesting and, well, great. Anyway, I'd like to get to know you better. What do you think? Yes, I'd like that. That's it? You are a lovely woman. Fascinating. A brilliant risk taker. Knowing you better would be a gift. Sincerely. Okay, then. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. You know what we saw back there, right? This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do. It turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to. Take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe. But I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon... He's got an army to back up his crazy. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. 
You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Ryder. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Ket. Destined or annoying, quick. Got some crazy mist that hides them from view, their friends too. Take a destined down, and that mist goes away. Makes them a prime target, if you ask me. Perfect for grenade practice. We can talk more later. Sure.
Hello, Sarah. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons, and know not what we destroyed. That's a fair description of Exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it, destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The exalted are cat. There must be a way to fix them. We need to be prepared that there might not be. Jarl, remember what we talked about? That we should examine the problem objectively? Excuse me. Grief is never easy. But Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. Hope is good, but false hope is unhealthy. I appreciate your support. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution it's horrible of course but also fascinating glad you're settling in sink or swim right <sighs> i should probably clean this up before it starts to smell Going through the readouts from the Ket facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. I saw another of Dad's memories. I was in this one. Scott, too. We were home visiting. Dad told us about going through the Charon relay. So you got your sense of exploration from your father? We joked it was in our DNA. Then that part of him lives on. I ran across another memory fragment. Dad made Sam for Mom, to cure her. I knew that was part of it, but... You didn't know it was the driving force? He gave up everything trying to save her. You didn't realize how important his family was to him? I guess not. Maybe that's what he wanted you to see. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me.
aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. It's too late for the Exalted. We can't let feelings get in the way. That's what gets me. The Exalted aren't converts. They're Ket. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just... I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. If his experience fell through, he always had smarts to fall back on. And now... Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. That vault on Aya was so gorgeous, so alive. And Meridian might be the key to the others. No wonder the Archon wants to control it, like everything in Helios. Any more Commando War Stories? Tethys was our sniper. She was old, matriarch old, maybe more. Didn't show. One Sar hit an Elcor in the eye from two clicks away. That's... A little scary. She was. Always seemed to be hiding something. But she kept us safe. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Ryder? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Those Asari refugees were a real help. Now to find the survey ship they mentioned. See you later, Cora. I'll be here.
So, Kalo, who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's complicated, Subi. Come on, think, think. I need something. Who are you talking to? Writer, shit. You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. I don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Ugh! What's your usual solution? Usually, I cut bait. Scram, strike out on my own. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. You're willing to share? I won't cramp your style? Let's find out. All right, I'm in. And this should do it. your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? You haven't taken the bait yet, but I'm not afraid of rejection. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. I don't think so, PB. That's fine. Say no more. PB, listen. Hey, don't you know what say no more means? Really, I mean it. No explanation necessary. Just thank you for this. We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find! And this Meridian Vault might jumpstart all the others. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi.
Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick Test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research, and your father's. AI and implants, they achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me, and then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. I needed that. Anytime. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh. Fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. What can I do for you? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. Sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. Tell me something else about the ship. The glass on board? It's actually a clear oxide and nanofiber compound. It bends rather than shattering. How tough is it? We're only an arm's length away from hard vacuum. Our testing involved three drunk Krogan with sledgehammers and a C-Sec battering ram. It's sturdy. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Dr. Tapero seems nice, if quiet. It must be very different here, compared to the Hyperion. Fewer people in stasis shock. Let's keep it that way. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Given Drax's history with Salarians, it's probably better I just stay out of his way. Too bad. That Grunion roast he makes smells delicious. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. <laughs> 